Release VX 2.8 continues to make a designer more productive with new technology. In this video, we will highlight Enhanced Design Reuse. So starting from the schematic, we can define a group of components that will be passed across in the layout. In this case here, these three power supply circuits are identical to each other, and we, and we want to reuse the placement and routing and plane areas that we create in the layout. To get started, we need to group the components that are going to be used in each of the reuse circuits for the layout. I've already done that for the first two here. So for our final and third circuit, we simply group select the circuit, right click, layout, group, and then we give that group a name. In this case, I'm going to call it DDR underscore 2 volt 5. This will add a property to each one of the components, so when they move over to the PCB, they will automatically be assigned to the group DDR 2.5 volts. In our layout in the Component Explorer, we can see we have these groups created for us now, our 1.8 volt, 3 volt, and our DDR 2.5 volt. For our first reuse circuit, I've already got the 3 volt one placed and routed. If we go ahead and zoom in here on this circuit, we'll see that I've added some um, plane shapes to connect our power pins together for a nice low inductance path and I've routed in all my other nets. All right. So now we need to make this into a reuse circuit. So first of all, we're going to make this our active group. I can then group select that entire circuit, do selection, add to group. Now what that does is if I click on that group again over here and go to the other tab, we can see it now adds all the traces and vias within that group. The advantage there is now I can actually pick up that group outline and move that entire circuit around very quickly and easily. Next, we want to create this as the source for a reuse circuit. All right, so we go edit, create physical reuse source. We can then name this anything we want. I'm just going to call it power in this case. And if I'm happy with that circuit, which I am in this case at this point, we can go ahead and publish that by again in the Component Explorer, right clicking over that and publish it. So what this will do now, it will publish this circuit within this design. So in our tree down here in the Component Explorer, we can see we have physical reuse circuits and that now becomes part of this design. Now initially what it does here is it um, freezes the circuit so that I can't move anything if I try moving a component or tracer via uh, it will not let me now I'll talk about here in a little bit and how we can uh, update uh, the circuit if we need to make a change but first of all let's go ahead and replicate these so now with that circuit created we go to to our design reuse circuits right click over that power circuit hit place it will automatically grab one of the groups uh, that we've already br created via our schematic and then I can go ahead and place that circuit and it will automatically go ahead and grab the third one as well and then I'll get a notification I can't find any more groups uh, based on that physical design reuse circuit. So now we have our three replicated circuits very quickly and easily they're all the same. Now notice in the tree over here this is currently our two copies here Basically, the icon here is uh, white, all right? So now what I'm going to do is we're going to make an update to this circuit. So I'm going to unfreeze uh, the circuit. We'll zoom in, and I've decided, you know what, this ground via here uh, should be much closer to that part. So we will make this our active circuit again. Go to Other. We'll select those traces, and then we'll remove those from this group. And now I can uh, select this via and move it. If I didn't remove it from the group, notice when I tried to do this, I get a message down here that this is part of a read-only group. So in other words, once I've added traces and vias and copper shapes into a active group, they become frozen. At that point, I need to remove them from that group in order to uh, modify them. So now we can simply select those items again, go to select list, add it back to the group. It'll add it back in there. Then we simply right click over our source circuit here and we will do publish again. 
click OK. Now notice our two reuse circuits here, the little IC next to them has a red, has turned red. That's letting us know that those reuse circuits in our design are no longer in sync with the current published copy. So a couple options, we can right click over the main design and just say update all reuse circuits in the design, or I can do each of these individually. So I can right click and say update. We can see now that it has re-updated, that has updated that circuit and that has moved. And then I can do the same for the second one, do update, and you'll see it automatically updates that for us. So very quickly we can create a source circuit make modifications to that source, uh, and then update all the other uh, replicated reuse circuits in our design.